Hey guys, it's Bub here, and in this video we're taking a look at Tiny11 Core, which is a customized version of Tiny11 by NT Dev that cuts the ISO itself down to just 2 gigabytes and a 3 gigabyte installation once it's installed. I've been waiting for something like this because in the past we've taken a look at Tiny11, the regular version, and I've just said how big the ISO's gotten and how much storage space it takes up, that it almost takes up like what a regular install of Windows would take up. So I'm very excited to see this come out. Um, I'm very excited to see what this is like and how it functions because I believe that Tiny11 has gotten way too big. Now one thing that NTDev did say on the archive.org page is that Tiny11 Core should not replace Tiny11. It's not meant to be. It's meant for developers, testers, things of that nature. Um, obviously not a full great replacement for the full Tiny11. All right, and here we go. Going ahead, agreeing to the license terms. We're gonna install to our hard drive, obviously, and there we go. Windows is now installing. We'll be back once we're either in the out-of-box experience, which NTDev typically includes, but because this is the core version, I don't know if it's there or the desktop. We'll see what happens. All right, and here we go. Um, we're gonna go ahead and choose United States. Um, so it did bring us to the out-of-box experience, which is something that NTDev does typically include in his builds. Um, but other custom ISOs, like Nano 11, I believe, uh, I can't remember all of them, they just skipped right over the out-of-box experience. So I am a little glad that NTDev did keep this in place. All right, so now it's prompting us to make our local account names. First call us Windows. Was easily able to skip over the Microsoft account prompt, thank God. It is asking us for, five, for privacy settings, so we're going to go ahead and skip over that. All right, and here we are inside of Windows 11. Uh, or Tiny11 Core, I should say. Before I install VMware Tools, let's see how much space we're using. Um, okay, um, not as good as I was expecting. We're using seven gigs, which is better than, again, regular Windows 11, um, but for some reason I thought it was supposed to be three, um, so definitely something we should take a look at. All right, so let's go ahead and install VMware Tools now, and then we'll just take a brief look around this operating system and see what it's really about. All right, let's go ahead and install VMware Tools. Um, let's see, and then we'll take a look around and we'll see just like what this, what it acts compared to your typical Windows 11 or rather Tiny 11 install um, because I am very intrigued to see, hey, what is gone. So by default, this is a very minimal installation as we can see, only recycle bin on the desktop. Um, literally very minimal stuff in the system tray and we installed that one. Um, very minimal stuff here too. I mean, we don't have Wi-Fi because it's a virtual machine. Um, that's not what the button I wanted to click. I wanted to click this. Um, what can we add? We can add cast and project, and that's it. There's no other options to even add down there. On the taskbar by default, we're missing the widgets in the bottom left, and we only have the task view button, file explorer, and the Microsoft store. We don't have anything else. Going into the start menu by default, the only pinned apps we have are settings and file explorer. And then we also have the get started uh, icon down here, which again, I, I'm not sure if this is so stuck into Windows, but for some reason, I, I don't know why they can't get rid of it. Accessibility, typical accessibility apps, calculator, file explorer, get started, store notepad, paint, uh, Windows settings, snipping tool, terminal, Windows Backup and Windows Tools. Um, Windows Backup is something that I have, I'm definitely interested in, but I'm not sure why it's included here. Like, can it? Is it another one of those things that you can't get rid of? So going ahead and let's let's go ahead and open Settings here. Let's see. Um, this was on 23H2, um, so I just want to verify. Again, 23H2 um, right here, 22631.2361. I believe that is a little out of date. Um, I forget what the latest version is. I thought it was okay. So there's one thing that doesn't work or was cut out is Windows Update. Tiny11 allows for Windows Update to work, but on this version, it does not. Um, I guess it's one of the things cut out in the core build of Tiny11. Moving on, let's take a look. I mean, can we have any different backgrounds or is that, that's it? Um, as expected, very minimal install of Windows 11. I mean, even, I feel we're missing files here. I forget what, there's, we're missing something here. Um, default user zero, you know, we have, again, I mean, we, even, there's a ton of stuff gone. 
down here. I mean, literally just have Notepad. It is the new version of Notepad, so that's cool. Um, you know, very, very minimal. So with that being said, thank you for watching this video. If you liked it, make sure to subscribe for new around here as I do all kinds of different technology videos, including device restorations. And with that being said, I'll see you all in the next one.